welcome to design sense today we will going to look into the detail about the extrude command from the solidworks generally it is the most used command from any designer in the world because without the extrude you can't make anything means generally we start with the extrude or revolve so we will go in detail what are the options we have available in the extrude generally we don't use all the options but we will look into this uh, maybe this will help to uh, it will help to uh, speed up the things uh, uh, for the designing and all these things so just go in the detail so we will uh, i have created some some things before to explain uh, different options so i have make the two sketches uh, this is one sketch this is another sketch and i have made two solid profiles so we will first go into the extrude command so just so uh, it will ask to create the sketch but we have already created the sketch uh, so we will uh, select that sketch we need to extrude so so basically it will extrude in uh, uh, perpendicular direction of the plane on which it it is drawn it, it was drawn so just you need to put the uh, length or the height you say the uh, size say 20 mm so it will uh, create a solid body of 20 mm uh, from that plane so that is i think we do we all know uh, we also have one more option over here in the same category there is a direction you click on the this square rectangle for selection and uh, select the direction you need so i have already created one sketch uh, for the give the direction to the solid body so if you just click on the uh, direction it will uh, change the direction of the complete body so if you select see if i increase the height okay, you can see it's completely parallel to the guide it it's similar like a sweep you can say sorry similar like a sweep yes like this if i change the angle i think it will again change the orientation of that too so it is linked with the path so that is uh, with the guided you can say this is the guide a direction of guide or direction of extrude you can say mm, that is for Uh, to make the extrude in uh, different angles then you have a draft in it if you click on the draft and then if you uh, give the degree uh, for the draft so it will it's create on all di all direction in the draft if you look on the top it will see maybe it's a little bit more then it is more clear now you can see if i will remove the guide it is more easier to, yes you can see the draft is from all side all four side which is which is perpendicular to the sketch first sketch it is not on the top it is only on the sides the 25 degree what is the draft is given it is only to the perpendicular sides uh, of the uh, plane on which the sketch the first sketch was drawn if i change the angle the draft is again changed it is also having the option over here it can draft inward or outward currently it is inward inward means it is inside the profile what you have drawn and if you make it outward it is more it's different it is outside the profile the profile is in blue color so that is first sketch what we have drawn then you also have a direction 2 in the same so you can use the same options uh, same extrude options in different two directions Uh, on the top side and the bottom side you can have it it is also having the blind and all these things but we will look in detail with this then i will delete this then we we'll go again in the extrude select the sketch there is one option through all through all means it is complete go with the extreme end where the solid ends so the solid the uh, surface is till this level this height it will go till the end of that that is through all through all all bodies whatever you have on the screen that is through all then you have up to next up to next is which the which is the first surface you have uh, in contact uh, when you start the extrude from the your profile uh, up to that it will go in the 
up to next option it can be different up to next can be the plane up to next can be a surface or something it is it will go there till that then up to vertex vertex uh, for that you need to uh, select any vertex in the your geometry like this it is also a vertex it will go till that level if i change the vertex it will go this vertex till that so you don't need to specify any height or some if you have doing some critical work in the bigger assembly you want to extrude something till that point you can select that you don't need to measure and all these things then you go up to surface so you need to select the surface so i have created this body for that only so if i create this uh, select this surface then it will create a extrusion precisely till that surface you can see the extrusion is precisely uh, aligned with that surface the we are aligned with that profile of the surface it is also having one option you can also having the offset from surface and you need to specify how much offset you want to have so i will have a 5 mm offset so it will exactly the 5 mm from normal to the uh, parent surface what we have selected in pink color it is a reverse offset the reverse offset means it will go in the uh, below side or upper side that is the reverse offset reverse of offset means it will go in up if i deselect that it will go down translate surface that will uh, translate surface means if i select the offset and it will uh, it will be normal to the uh, uh, parent surface but if i create the translate surface it will it will change the curve of that surface Mer merge is normal if you have two bodies connected together then it will be merged currently it is not possible because two bodies are um, in the distance then up to the body up to the body means you need to select the one body any body so i will select this sorry you need to go in the selection mode to the body similar <coughs> same mid plane then it will create an extrude in the mid plane where the your sketches so if i if i put the 5 mm okay, to 10 in a 10 10 so 5 5 up 5 out 15 50 so 25 up 25 down so that is extrude basically and uh, <coughs> you will also create the same thing on the direction 2 direction 1 direction 1 is straight you want to have direction 2 till the surface you can do that up to the surface so one side is flat maybe a specific height one side is up to the surface it is possible if you want to have both side up to the surface you can change the option select the sur surface it is like this thin feature is also option there if you, it is similar like shell or something and if you go in thin feature it will make a wall around it of 10 mm you need to specify the um, thickness of wall so it like a box if we have one direction it will go in outside of the profile mid plane means you can see the wall is in the middle see over here you can change you can see one direction it is go outside mid it is profile is in the middle of this and two direction is on the both direction whatever you have given the thickness it is on the both direction both side so one is outside is 5 inside is 5 inside is 7 inside is 7 so that is flexibility you have you um, solid works have given over here so i think that's it in the extrude in the next video we will look at about the revolve thank you